So now that they are more exposed, you're not their only point of knowledge. Yeah. You're not the only person they'll come to. Mm. They'll just Google. Exactly. Ta, 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 ta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What should I do when I get a woody? Yeah. yeah. Yours, you're about to get yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm actually keen to hear that conversation. But anyway, we can yeah, pass yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, we did. Yeah. Ah, trust me. I almost hit the dashboard. I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> the guy just went to the windscreen and I was <laughs> screeching. Oh my God, I'm not, I don't think I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> everyone uh welcome to the crib sheet not just any other podcast this is our single parents podcast and uh today we are joined by sandra <laughs> <laughs> yes and um as usual you have uh, sheila and carol uh your host for today so chim had to take the the day off the day off <laughs> to breathe and figure out about his tip <laughs> So um, we have Sandra. Uh, Sandra, how are you? I'm good. I'm very good. I'm good. Thank you. And we are happy actually. Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Yeah, because I'm sure you, this is just the best topic for you. Yes. And so uh, territory. Mm. Oh yes. yeah. Very. I'm sure we yeah. learn from you. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I think maybe you can share your uh, your social platforms where people can get to know more about why we're saying this is a very good topic to have you on board. Okay. My social platforms or yes, your social platforms. Who I am and <laughs> yes. So my name is Sandra Kanyoro, and those are my social platforms. So I'm on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. Mm-hmm. Soon to be on Twitter, although I'm still trying to figure that one out. X. X. Yeah. yeah. X. <laughs> so and uh yes, you I'm a single mom coach, so also known as Sandra K, single mom coach. Mm-hmm. I believe women can thrive yes. as single parents and their children can also thrive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, today's topic, we are mm-hmm. discussing uh, mothers raising sons. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is single parents, um, couples, but we're looking at the mother raising the the boys in the family, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I'd want to I'd want you to introduce yourself to the hosts. Okay. Maybe talk about you being a parent, uh, the boys you're raising in your family, mm-hmm. who they are, how old they are, so they're able to relate. Uh, okay. with the stories that we're telling today so i've been a single mother for the past what 20 years or so yeah yes so i have three <laughs> kids teens so the last one is 15 the second one is 18 soon to be 19 mm-hmm. and my son is 21 so i have only one son mm-hmm. so i have done 21 <coughs> years of raising, 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 raising yeah. a man mm-hmm. <laughs> so to speak mm-hmm. and i'm very i'm learning to be very intentional about raising the man i want to see Mm-hmm. okay because i've made mistakes <clears throat> i can't lie yeah. so uh, over the years the mistakes i've made and looking at him now mm-hmm. i want to be able to help other women journey mm-hmm. and not make the same mistakes mm-hmm. or be able to see beforehand what they're doing that is affect- going to affect the man mm-hmm. they're going to be yeah. so it's easier when you start with the young ones mm-hmm. so they'll be able to drive the, the the conversation of manhood as opposed to now the man is big he's already 18 19 mm-hmm. formulation of ideas are already there he's yeah. already matured so there's nothing much you can do there mm-hmm. but the formative years there's a lot you can do mm-hmm. yeah. so i'm raising a 21 year old on your own oh. or do you have a partner i uh, on my own okay You've done it yeah on, yeah 21 years yep <laughs> it's still wow. going strong. Yeah. And I keep telling them I'll cry at his wedding, I'll cry when the, the, my grandson is born. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I cried when he finished class eight. I cried when yeah. he like mom don't come flooding. Yeah. Yeah. He's that. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> oh, but that's so sweet. That's yeah, cool. that yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah. Carried also I'd also want you to talk about your mm-hmm. boy. How yeah. old? Mm-hmm. So I'm raising an eight year old, so I've mm-hmm. been a single mom of a son for eight years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. I don't have a coach, so I'm looking forward to learning from you. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. Eight is a good age. Yeah. yeah. Eight, yeah. eight, they are now 
starting to understand a few things. Yeah. Asking a few questions. Asking mm. questions. Yes. Very hard questions. Ooh, hard questions. Yeah, questions. Yeah, we yeah. had those yeah. hard conversations. They, are, yeah. they get very hard and yeah. and so you need that guidance on what are you going to say at what age. Exactly. Mm. What is exposed and mm. what is not too much exposure yeah. to be able to get him emotionally mm. stable yeah. as opposed to just throwing everything, throwing everything. at him. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um so you all know I have two sons so there's one that's 12 years mm. and then there's a 7 year old uh son different questions that I get from mm. both of them okay. one is very protect they they're both very protective it happens but in different um mm. strength as okay. in weight yeah. I might say that um and I think the first time I got to know you as a single parent mm-hmm. and I got on your Facebook I was like, wait, this one looks like, is this your boyfriend or is this your son? Because they're yeah, almost yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. The same he's, he's taller, taller than you. Now he's taller yeah, than you. Yeah, he's taller than you. Yes. And uh, when you told me, he's just, I was like, gosh, you don't even look like you have a very old uh, son. <laughs> thank and so you, thank this you. is also a good opportunity to learn from you mm-hmm. today as the two of us. I know you have a, yeah. an event that's coming up as well. So yes. I'd like you to talk about it uh, towards the end of the show. Okay, I'll do that. But uh, so my first question would be, if you had one superpower, mm. what would it be? <laughs> yes. So here's the thing. I'd want to be able to mute my kids. Mm. I'm a good parent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But there are times I have had a long day at the office. Yeah. I am feeling yeah. very tired. <laughs> and then when I open the door, they all want to say their stories yeah. and there are three of them. Yes. Okay? Mm. So everyone is yabbering yeah. and they like, Mom, I did, Mom, I did. Mm. And I'm thinking, not she did. She's 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 yeah. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not now. Like, a client is calling. Yeah. I just had some bad email sent to me. <laughs> so for that few seconds or minutes or an hour, just silence yeah yeah <laughs> mommy pretend i'm not home yeah, yeah. that that i'd love <laughs> Interesting. and then i mute, I mute yeah. them after i am ready you're to receive saying, because yeah. they are, one of the things i've noticed is they can tell you're not listening yeah mm. yeah, yeah. They, can. Yeah, they can tell you're not listening mm. so even if you let them yabba yabba they start feeling that mom even if i keep no. telling mom mm. you're she's not, not listening, listening. Yeah. she's not present and then like yeah. mom you're not listening so that ability to mute and be able to fast breathe and gather mm. myself and call to myself to a meeting <laughs> is an ability I'd want. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Carol? I actually totally relate. In my mind, I was like, I'd want to be invisible. <laughs> I want like, to be invisible. invisible. I was just walking to the house. No yeah. one sees me. Yes. And then once I rest, then I can come back and, oh, mm. guys, I'm here. Mm. And be mom. And be yeah. mom at that point, yeah. Because, yeah. Mm. yeah, like you're saying, sometimes it's not like we're being bad mothers. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But there are times when you're like, I just need a moment to breathe mm. and just, you know, just Very important. annoying from the day, then figure, you know, now be present to being a mom. So, mm. yeah, maybe being invisible. Yeah, invisible. <laughs> so, I would yeah. say I'd want to have a spiritual eye. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Explained. Mm. Yeah. Spiritual eye to just watch over my children. Because... Mm. Okay. Um, so much happens when you're not there and then you're true, so caught up true, with life true. and work and you get home mm. you talk about you want to meet them but you also want to know what has it what happened they been like. yeah exactly so imagine if you had something to do that job for you Hmm. Unfortunately, so you, you see the way we always talk about don't don't check your partner's phone because you do, you're not ready to call it. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Whether you want yeah to be ready for that no, I mean, I won't be ready, <laughs> but I'd still want you know to get to to know how their day was because mm. at times this is where they lie. Like they tell you they had a good day, probably and they, they did, did not. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And then also they fear telling you what they did because you'd punish them. Yeah, like I want I want that spiritual eye. But I also want to have the superpower of just being patient and and uh, I I don't know. As in you have so many superpowers. At this I know. Point. Yeah. I mean, I know <laughs> many, yeah. Right. But yeah. um, I I'd, I'd also want that invisibility. As in, just let me get there. But this is something the kids will come to learn. Yeah. Like my children learned. Mm-hmm. So I'll come in. Hi. How was your day? How was school? Da 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 da. Anything? No. And then I'll get into my room. Okay. And, and then know, I'll come yeah. back probably 10 minutes later mm-hmm. and now I am ready for, for them. Yeah, so, homework, exactly. you know, yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I think okay. it's it's one thing I've, um, with time, we've managed to do okay. together. So they know, mm-hmm. coming, hi, how's your day, 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 day. Mm-hmm. And then I'd go in, 
and then come or maybe take a shower then come and sit because yeah. okay. this is when homework starts now they're all yours yeah you're yeah. all mine yes. right yeah. but um i think i think we always wanted that other thing that can yeah. can be able to take care of our children okay. talk about um, as in yeah. you know for fun mm-hmm. uh, one thing you've done with your with your kids <laughs> making it memorable for them yeah. as well. we have a lot of fun oh my gosh yeah yes, for musketeers like oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> nice. so yeah. one thing i realized is yeah. what you do at your formative years mm-hmm. is very important what you do together mm-hmm. so i used to drive them to school in the mornings yeah and i used to put sandona in the evening mm-hmm. <laughs> And cool. every yeah. song they can sing now. My son mm. has soul, you know. Mm. So he says That's the beautiful. lyrics that they you guys used to listen to, yeah. they remember now. Yeah. You know? ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So those things that you we do together, like putting on music and mm. singing and washing dishes together, yeah. and even fighting and mm. now having serious conversations. Mm. But the fun thing that we do. There's this <laughs> I'm on a romantic call. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where? So he'll 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 be like <laughs> ready to come. Yeah, I know. So, oh, I'm supposed to un- understand the song, yeah. listen yeah. to the song. But music, I've realized that music helps you connect with your kids. Mm-hmm. Whatever songs they listen to, whatever. Yeah. Because it, music gives a very warm feeling mm-hmm. and it elevates you. So at that point you can connect. As opposed to let's do a chore. Yeah, Let's watch this exactly. Already, they don't feel like doing it. So yeah. even getting them to open up and talk to you, mm-hmm. they won't do because ugh, it's structured. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. So if you do something off the structure, like you, for example, you play mm. his games as opposed Actually, to yes, I play yeah. his games. Yeah. Now you are there. You are friends as opposed to a mom. Exactly. Like, just yeah. go in there and do the mad thing mm. or the Legos mm. or whatever it is kids are doing nowadays. You know, mm. Roblox. Yes, it's, it's a whole thing. thing. It's a whole yeah. different ball game. Yeah. Yeah. True, true. So yes, we have a lot of fun, but we engage through music. Mm. Yes. So either they either come to my world or I go to theirs. Yeah. Yes. That's beautiful. Mm. Love it. When I mm-hmm. when I heard you talk about music, I remember growing up listening to Judy Bocch. Yes. Judy Bocch. Mm-hmm. Yes. It was her and I think Whitney mm-hmm. and Mariah. My mom used to listen. Yeah. You know that day she's in the <laughs> cold yeah, mood. Yeah, exactly. Right? You know, so that's the day she cook yeah. your favorite meal because that's yeah. the day she has time for herself mm. and for us as children. Mm. So you've done like we used to do proper house cleaning. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's a day for this is how cleaning. To check in. <laughs> I like this. My mom is very very dirty. Yeah. Yeah. So she's like, I'll give you five minutes. You need to move everything that's under anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So she start. comes with a bucket full of water <laughs> and and pours. Oh, yes. So now you have no option. Well, now you, you have, have to. Of course, yes. There's, there's no demand. Yeah. yeah. There's no more. No, yeah. 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 And then she's like, no, no mop, no nothing. Okay. You're Please, going to scratch the house. Yeah. Yes. And that's the time she'd have the music on. So it was a bonding session for yeah. us because mm-hmm. she was always at work. Yes. Yeah. Being oh. a being a nurse as a. Full You're time. in on night shifts or during mm. the day when we are at school. So mm. that was yeah. time for, for all of us. So we get to dance. We get to listen to the music. So growing up, I've, I've related much more with those yeah. movies. So yeah, yeah. Nowadays, you get to sit and listen. So which which music should we play with? Uh, I, I yeah, love music down now, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. So I think we'll come and I think that's boring. That's boring. Mm. Music. Of course. Oh, it's boring. boring. Yeah. Yeah. It's boring music, but... The way you perceive your music is mm-hmm. not the way they'll perceive. Yeah. You see, the, if I sing my songs very emotionally and I'm like, translating, mm-hmm. you know, like this, you never count your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. That's what yeah. I remember from my yeah. dad now. <laughs> Son, you don't have to fight yeah. when you're a man. Mm-hmm. So every time I used to sing for them, they're like, you don't have to fight when you're a man. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. 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 Also, so it's not like you're just some, some values. Yeah. It's not just any song. Mm-hmm. But with every song they listen to or watching movies, we used to watch Lion King, we can oh, sing it yeah. back. Mm-hmm. So the movies that, I keep telling them, once you watch a movie, mm-hmm. you tell me what you've learned. Yeah. So you're watching their movie, not as opposed to you watching your own mm-hmm. movies. So now you relate. And then you ask them what character they're identifying with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the movies. Okay. That's okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So you, you get to know their characteristics. Mm-hmm. And they're superhero. Mm-hmm. Somebody will say, that one, the Woshe one, is the one yeah. I identify with. Yeah. yeah, you know. So you start getting mm-hmm. to learn your kids through the things they love, mm-hmm. as opposed to what you think they should. The, yeah. yeah. You That's teach them from them. They're the yeah. ones who are teaching you yeah. about themselves, mm-hmm. as opposed to mama knows best. Yeah, mama exactly. says, yeah. Mama says, don't. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. That kind of is it will not foster a relationship yeah. with your kids. Mm, not yeah. at all. That's intentional. Yeah. I like that. Very, yeah. very you yeah. have to be. Yeah. Very, I really yeah. like that. A couple of yeah. movies you'd recommend. Oh my gosh, we watched <laughs> for eight years. Keep it in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's, yeah. there's yeah. Moana, there's one. No, we, Moana, you don't yeah. have to be, you don't have to talk about Bruno. No, no, that one is a nice one. It's called Bruno. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. yeah. Okay. it's called no Bruno. Clue. Then there's, of course, the, the, the Frozen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And also and for the boys. So girly. Oh, yes. yeah, for the boys. You, you yes, do like boys, yeah, yeah. those boys, mm. boy movies that they want. Or play games. Games for sure. Yeah, yeah. like the video games yeah. are important. Yeah. So you see how they they interact with you when they win. Exactly. Or when they yes. lose. What kind yes. of loser are you? Yeah. We used to play Ludo. Mm. Uh, yeah. Monopoly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's board games, video games, mm. or now an actual game where mm. now either you're pillow fighting ah, or yeah, you're exactly. pouring ah, I mean, yeah. mm-hmm. so you're in their world and then you learn a few things about themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So they get angry when they're not winning. Mm. They don't want to be team spirit. Yeah. You start learning, oh, my kid does not like Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or they are, they are, they are withdrawn. Mm-hmm. They don't want to play. Mm-hmm. So you get to learn. So for you, they are playing, but for you, you are watching. You're watching you're observing. And learning. What yeah. kind of person will this be? When they lose, now there is no game. Mm-hmm. Others they want to dominate the game. Mm-hmm. Others, if they are not winning, then miss it, chase it, Oh yeah. 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 True. yeah. yeah. True. I don't feel like playing because yeah. first round was machine mm-hmm. So those are the things okay. you learn. Yeah. yeah. So current movies, I don't know because now we have teenagers. Yeah. So we watch some different kind of movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have to do Moana again. Yeah. 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 And Lion King. Wow. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So there's a uh, people have the perception that boys being raised by single uh, moms, mm-hmm. single moms, or also this this some feedback we got from the previous uh, show mm-hmm. whereby someone came and said he's coming from um, a family. Like with the mother and the father, but the father has always been very yeah. absent. Yeah. Okay. So you are a couple, you are married, mm. but you find the the woman is doing Everything. so much more. Yes. Plus raising that boy mm. where you feel the man has to step step up and uh, take up his duty as a father to raise mm. them. Yes. So there's um I want us to talk about the masculinity. Okay. Let's talk about masculinity when you're raising a boy. Mm-hmm. How do you get to cel- uh, celebrate that as a as a mother? To, for them to know, also, let's touch on the feminine side that comes out, having been raised um, by a mom. Wow, that's murky waters. But mm-hmm. like I said, I'm no expert, but yeah. I've, I've done 21 years. So. Yeah, you know something <laughs> to, exactly. you you to share. You know something to share. So yeah. it's not like uh, I'm, I'm going to say this the correct way, yeah. but um, in terms of what's the role of a man from a woman's perspective, mm-hmm. it is to protect and provide. Yes. Emotionally, spiritually, intellectually, and all the other alleys you think about. Mm. <laughs> so once you know that, what are your expectations of a man? Mm. Okay? Not his father. Yeah. A man. Mm. So you're building that man based on what you want that man to, to be. be. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. As opposed to don't be, don't do, don't mm. you look like your father, you're sitting like your father. So you're trying to just put boxes yeah. as opposed to this is the man I want you to become. Yeah. yeah. So funny thing, every time I give my son a lecture and my lectures are long, I don't beat. Oh, okay. we don't. I, we don't beat children. Yeah. I stopped beating them at 10 or even earlier. Yeah. So it's a, a communication. Conversation. Yeah, conversation. Yeah. So I keep, t- my, my lectures are very long. But every time I talk to them, there's a lesson I'm instilling. And I tell them, the 30-year-old man will understand. Mm. I'm speaking to the 30-year-old man. Yeah. I'm speaking to the 20-year-old man. Mm. So that now, at that point, now that he's 21, he's like, eh, now your lectures are making yeah. sense. Yeah, making yeah. sense. True. You know? Yeah. So you put in the seed mm. and it will germinate. But if you don't put in a seed now, then yeah. in your what 8 year old, if you don't put in the seeds of what you want to mature, mm. if you want nothing, oranges, put yeah. oranges. So is this the kind of man you want with... If masculinity nowadays is very murky, like I said. Mm. So what True. is masculinity? Exactly, what, yeah. Is it a macho yeah. man? Is it... You know, because if you date... a if I keep telling my son, you are the perfect guy. Okay? Yeah. Because you identify with feelings. Mm. Okay? So because I've raised him that way, he identifies with a woman and what they feel and mm. how. And then he's surrounded by girls. Yeah. Yeah? So he he makes a very yes. good boyfriend. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Because he's yeah. really, he'll understand yeah. everything, all the emotions that are coming, and he'll know how to handle it. Mm. Okay. Now, but on the other side, on the flip side, if he goes to the male sector and, you mm. know, the feelings now, I mean, that, that's not really. Yeah. yeah. What so, expect, what, what, yeah. what is expected? Mm. A man is supposed to be macho, a man is supposed yeah. to be. But who says? The, the essence of who a man is is who they are in their heart. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, it doesn't matter whether you're big, small, masculine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's who are you as a man? Mm, mm. And how do you treat other uh, others around you? How do you yeah. treat your children? How do you treat your mother? Mm. How do you treat your girlfriend or your boyfriend yeah. or even your wife? Yeah. That's the essence of a man. Who are you in the office and out of the mm. office? So everything else, whether you have a base or not, yeah. these, uh, <laughs> these are all other labels yeah. that we put on ourselves. Mm. But the essence of who you are as a provider, as a protector, those are the innate things that men do, and they have it. When you say your son is protective of you, mm. it's innate in them. Yeah, it's not that it's going to change just because they've been raised by a woman. Mm. It's yeah, true. It's, it's it's true. not going yeah. to change. Yeah. Your son will always be protective, protective. of you because mm. that's his innate nature. Yeah. So manhood is innate. Mm -hmm. It's just that now it needs to be cultured by. Yeah. yeah. True. And we also need to nurture them as uh, uh, yeah. as uh, moms. Because I, I feel when they grow up, like your son to 20 years, there's what you've always, whatever you you instilled and you've nurtured over time, it's going to be very hard for, for them to change. Like later. They won't leave it. So yeah. it has to start they when they're very, it, yeah. very young. Because of late, we've been having conversations like over the weekend, we'd pick a time and have those conversations. And my son, uh, the 12 year old, would come back and say, um, I'm looking forward to the next one because mm. the thing is I need to understand his perspective of how he looks at exactly. things mm. and then how the smaller ones and I'm like if you have any questions come let's sit and discuss mm. if you have any questions I'd rather you you ask me and not someone else yes control so the as much as you need to mm. understand I am going to be very uh, I am very strict okay to be very, and everyone mm. knows okay. like even my son knows mm. but he knows um, that things I'd gladly come and ask you okay. because I can and because you're my mother first. Like mm. you're the you're the parent I have. Mm. Um, there are times you'd also would go for months I haven't disciplined. It's like, oh, you know, you haven't, you yeah. have not disciplined me for the last. I'm like, because you've been a good boy. Yeah, you need to understand. I will only discipline you because I just don't come out from nowhere and start. Yeah, yeah you did this or shout, yeah. you know. Let it be more of a conversation now that you are at this age. Like, mm. we need to have conversations. Mm. But when I call you, you've done something wrong and I'm asking you and you keep quiet. I'm like, you, okay. you yeah. did it intentionally mm. or is it you knew you're making a mistake? And he'd say, yeah, like, of at course. times I, I, I knew mm. that you see that you can't, you can punish. It's more of a discussion of, so do you know where you went wrong? Yeah. Okay. Right. So I feel also in the when it comes to the discipline, how you would discipline uh, your eight year old, how you if mm. you make that mistake right now, what can you do? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. It happens. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe in terms of discipline, how do you? Uh, so and please look at the seven year old, the eight year old. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> So so let me let me yeah. backtrack a bit when you say. In terms of you haven't punished me. There's a saying, like I said, foundational, foundation, foundation. Mm. My kids always say, if you ask them right now, uh, actions, consequence. Mm. Action, consequence. Mm. So they keep telling me, mom, you give us freedom. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But it's the worst thing ever. Exactly. Mm. Okay. Exactly. Mm. It's the worst thing ever because you have to be responsible. Mm. True. So now I flip the coin on them because... Now they're like, we have to be responsible. Mm. Yeah, we got yeah, to blunder. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. because mom has charged us with the responsibility yeah, of being exactly. by ourselves. So the, the the free reign of I will not punish you. I'm not doing something bad because mom will punish me. Mm. Yeah, we can only last for so long. Mm. True, it's not sustainable. It's not it's sustainable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. I'm doing the right thing because I'm meant to do the right thing. Mm. And if I do the wrong thing, I know there's a consequence. Yeah. So that consequence is what stops them from now doing the yeah. wrong thing. Yeah. Yeah. The fact minute they understand that there is a consequence. I, I know nowadays you don't beat. There's the naughty corners. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll reserve my comments on yeah. those corners. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. the fact that you can say the consequence yeah. would be no video game. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. For yeah. the week. Or your ground they love. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. The, the yeah. one thing they love is what you 
withdraw mm. Mm. True. then now True. they feel the pinch yeah so when next they time they're about to do something that is contrary to what you would want yeah then they feel they it know, but yeah. then there's also the fact that they need to do other things so that they can learn and i've realized parents don't let their kids blunder mm. yeah actually yeah yes i think we, we don't want them to blunder but how will they learn exactly yeah how will they learn make the mistake Come and tell me what you've learned. Yeah, mm, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, true. Now that is how I'm teaching my son. Mm. So I'm not. You can't go out. You can't drink. You can't mm. do this. Do it. You go. You do it. You yeah. Go. But then <laughs> the consequences. Know. Yeah. Is upon you. Yeah. Exactly. Is your own yeah, business. Yeah. Yeah. So then now the conversations shift from I will beat you. You are not. Do mm. not sit stand. So it's not a yeah. robot because at one point you will not be there. Exactly. Yeah, and very exactly. soon, you'll not be their only point of contact. True. Yeah. And now you are controlling the narrative. Yeah. You have a free way to speak anything and yeah. instill mm. what you need. At some point, their worldview increases. Yeah. And so they are getting information from, from everywhere. everywhere. And nowadays, they are getting exactly. it very early. Yeah. They have exactly. phones, they have computers, yeah. they have friends mm. in school. And so the exposure is higher mm. yeah. as opposed to back then. Yeah. yeah. So now that they are more exposed, you're not their only point of knowledge. Yeah. You're not the only person they'll come to. Mm. They'll just Google. Exactly. Ta, 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 ta. Yeah, yeah. What should I do when I get a woody? Yeah. Yeah. Yours, you're about to get yeah. one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm actually keen to hear that conversation. But anyway, we can pass yeah. yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Yes, we did. Yeah. Ah, trust me. I almost hit the dashboard. I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> the guy just went to the windscreen and I was screeching. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not, I don't you're think I'm ready. ready. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I think after some time, yeah. I, after I composed myself, mm-hmm. because I was able to explain, it's it's the natural thing for a man. Yeah. Yeah. How old was he? Uh, 12. <gasps> okay. Yeah, that's what Have I'm you saying. had that conversation? You're about to. It's, 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 it's not like you're going to sit down and say, hi, hi there's something mm-hmm. called Woody, yeah. so you're about to start getting <laughs> them. But there's also the fact that yeah, in the morning he'll get them. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And he'll be wondering what's what the hell is happening, and yeah. he'll want to know. Mm-hmm. And so one of the things I'm advocating is you can't have that conversation. You see, like I said, I made mistakes. Yeah. So I'm even when he looks at me, like, "Mom, you know the way you explain that Woody story." Pointers <laughs> 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 are yeah. <laughs> Your pointers were really not okay. Yeah. yeah. So, at, at this point in time is when you get that male person mm. because they are going to get it. You can't ignore the fact that there are things yeah. happening in your son's life mm. that you don't have a control over and you don't know mm. and you can't explain them. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, for ladies out there who yeah. have sons, you can't explain it. Yeah. So get somebody who you know will explain it better, mm. better, yeah. and to their level. Mm. Okay, so you get somebody who's a bit and you trust. Again, you oh, don't yeah. want the mm, too much yeah, exposure. Mm, yeah. That the kid comes back and you are thinking, oh my God. Okay, that, where that did I take myself? Yeah, 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 at this exactly. point. Yeah, so you're also controlling the narrative, you know, as you're telling the male f- friend mm-hmm. or a person, yeah. okay, single women and male friends is an whole topic. Mm-hmm. But if you're telling that male friend, this is the structure, this is how I want to. Yeah. Because at 12, they knew what they were going through. Mm. Yeah. Then the attraction of to another girl. Yeah. You see, well, even you now, there's a conversation of which girl do I like? Of she's course. In class yes. in she's, I like her. Who's your best friend? Yes. Who's my best friend? I like so her. So, yeah. yeah. I want to take because her something. Nice hair. Yeah. <laughs> you see. Yeah. So now there, there, there's the attraction happening. Exactly. And so how yeah. do you now teach attraction and how to treat a woman now? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. The don't be mean. Send mm. her something. Like buy her a flower, yeah. take for her something nice. <laughs> those are the, that's, that's the like, man you want to see. Yeah, it's true. That's the man yeah. you want to see. So those yeah. things that you instill now that you are an authority in his life, yeah, then you better control the script. Exactly. Yeah. No, I totally agree with yeah. you. And and the fact that at this age he feels he can trust me mm-hmm. is the right time yes. to tell him this is yes. how you do it. Yes. This is where you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah treat a girl nicely mm. when she sits. You know, all the things you yeah. want instilled, you can do it now. Yeah. You have the liberty to do it now, mm-hmm. as opposed to when Later. they grow older. Yeah. Yeah. Because also, I was just thinking, when we're in primary, there's always that one boy, as girls, we either sent a letter or slipped something into his bag. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> or, you know, as we, we came out and said, you're, you're yeah. really nice. You're and single like, yeah. out, yes. So the other day, my son was talking about um, 
no, my daughter was talking about another boy in their class. And my son came up, but that's a boy. I'm like, but it's okay to have a friend. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I've never said you shouldn't you should only have Girl boy friends. friends yeah. Or girlfriends in school. Mm. Or is that how the school is like, no, 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 no. Even uh, in school, you sit together with girls and mm-hmm. boys, right? So you can still have them as your friends. Exactly. So, yeah. And it's true. When they come out and say, oh, I really like Ananio. So are we able to That's the hard point. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, I'm just <laughs> you're, thinking. You're you tell me, oh, mom, it's Valentine. I'd want to take a flower to girl X. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not that should I not be know, the case. I know, uh, I know. It's not that bad. You're too young. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then why would you want to take flowers? You can always go sit and say uh, Happy Valentine's and just move yeah. on. Yeah. Right? Or your snack. Because I feel also at our age, um, you get a man who approaches you. How he approaches you, mm. you determine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now, true. Imagine true. that's your son approaching a girl. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How you'd want to be approached? Yeah. Is what you teach. Mm. Remember, there's a lesson there. That's a seven-year-old, Mama. A sweetheart. Aish. He's a seven-year-old who's going to be a ten-year-old who's going to be a fifteen-year-old. And a thirty-year-old. And a thirty-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, you're putting in the seed. Okay? Mama knows best works for you right oh, now. Yeah. 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 It's working for you right now until they are 10, 11, 12. After that, you have no say whatsoever. Mm. Trust me, you think you have say, but you don't. So... The, if the fact that he's asked about a, a rose or a chocolate or Valentine's, mm. it's what is happening. Yeah. And it's happening in school. And so you're the only parent who's saying, no. No. Oh, okay. And then they'll do it. By the way, he'll they'll find a way, way. Yeah. to get something to her. To her. So your way is not getting the rose. Rose is too. If you are an older man, yes, mm. an older boy, yes. Mm. But now we can go to the supermarket, buy her chocolate. Yeah. My best friend, this Cadbury is one yeah, of the yeah, they have my friend. Thing, yeah. So then take, then he's part of it. He feels part and included. When you go no, he'll never tell you anything again mm. about a girl, and you don't want to shun him out right now. Mm. And it's and it's not like the love that you're thinking or it's just like to them it's just yeah yeah. True. My my <laughs> my son's heartbreak was in class eight. Oh, so wow. he liked a girl, and you know, and he was very smitten by her somehow. And then now there was another <laughs> cool guy who came to school. Oh, oh, a cooler guy. He's yeah. <laughs> and so they've gone for camp. Yeah. And the girl chose the other boy. Oh. oh. Yeah. And he came home crying. And I'm like, I'm gonna beat that girl. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a lesson yeah. you try to take. True. Life is not going to always give you what you mm. want. So for everything happening in their lives, you take that as an opportunity to throw in a seed. Yeah. 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 To throw yeah. in something that later on they'll be like, ah. Mm. Mom no, it said, makes sense. Yeah. Mom makes sense. Yeah. 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 So now, if, even if he's broken his heart right now, mm-hmm. that last year he got a nice good heartbreak. He was able to. <laughs> oh, we love those ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was able to bounce back and say, okay, fine. Mm. Yeah. And now re evaluate. Yeah. Re evaluate and re evaluate. But if you don't instill right now, yeah. It gets it harder. It. it gets harder. But let me ask, friends. how do you balance between? Because I feel like. As we we raise sons differently than when there would be a man, be a man mm. in the because I think as we are so into the softer side, so we will teach them the softer side of things, exactly. open the door for the girl, mm. give her a rose, da da da, all those things. But then other boys, I don't know, it could be the case who have men have been taught differently. Yes, they've been taught the soft side, but they're also like you're saying, there's the cool guy who shows up looking all macho and all mm-hmm. that you know the cool guy who's beating everyone in class yes mm. <laughs> so how do you balance between i want you to have your soft side but still be man enough. a man exactly yes. man, enough. man enough yeah hence my my point i didn't have that opportunity to i circled my kids yeah because when you're left it is me against the world exactly and my kids. Yeah. yeah so you don't care about anyone else's opinion True. you're doing what you can to raise these mm. children okay but then you realize later on that they needed a male figure. Figure, exactly. Yeah? yeah. They needed a man in their lives. Mm. And 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 you see it now. Yeah. So for now, those ones who are younger, that's why I'm saying instill. Get From the male the person. Goal. Yes. Mm. Be intentional about getting that guy mm. who will be there for your son. Yeah. You okay. don't necessarily have to be in a relationship with them. Mm. But it can be an uncle. It can a be an, cousin, an uncle, a cousin, a, a, a man who's Who's older and he's aware? Mm. A grandfather, mm. 
exactly. You yeah. Know, yeah. One of those cool grandpas mm. who will understand. Yeah. Yes. But it has to be a man. It has there to be. There are some conversations yeah. you cannot have. Yeah. Yes. But like, even beyond conversation, there's some skills. I might not be Yeah, man yeah. you are, you you only have the womanhood dimension. Exactly. You don't have the manhood yeah. dimension. <laughs> so let's not cheat yeah. ourselves. Yeah. That we can actually give the man what yeah. they need. It yeah, is exactly. I'll be there, I'll guide you, I'll steer the conversation, mm. but I'll bring a male figure mm. and to, a male authority to, the to steer yeah. the other side mm. and show you, like, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So no, he do either agree enrolling yeah. football, mm. any other game that he's sporty and he can exactly. meet other, other yes, men. Other men and all and, that, yeah. yeah. Now, mm. I remember my son one time asking me, how do you jump start a car? And I'm like, ah... Uh, okay. Tururi. Teach, teach, teach. <laughs> <laughs> um, exactly. You're like, That's I don't know. No idea. Yeah, yeah. So he's looking at me like perfect example. So who's going to teach me how to do this thing? Exactly. Yeah. Perfect example. In my household, I'm the one who closes the door mm. and the windows mm. and everything. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Because you're the one. Technically, yeah. I'm the man. Yeah. You're the man. Yeah, exactly. So now, imagine my son being married. Wife. Oh, he'll expect the wife to do that. To Thank do you. It, yeah. He will expect the wife. Yes. So if you're not intentional about showing some things that men are supposed to do, mm-hmm. and you're doing superwoman, mm-hmm. yeah. can you imagine the girl he's going to get? Interesting mm-hmm. you say that, because uh, one thing I've also always asked myself is, as guys, our sons have only seen us, so they've seen us providing, protecting, doing yeah. all those things. Thank you. So it's interesting you say that because they will grow thinking mm-hmm. this is the kind of woman that I'm looking for. Look like. Yeah, so if, if a woman is here being all Gully and take care of me and everything. The boy might be thinking, "Yeah, who raised you?" Yeah, but probably it was a mistake. We should mm. have shown him. Yes, there are things a woman can do, but this is what a man should be doing. Hence, your vulnerable side. Yeah, you're not superwoman, and you'll never be. So that hmm. that connection that you have with them, and they always know, mom is not okay. Mom is, mm. and mom is they not will superwoman. No, exactly. Yeah. Let's go learn change attire together. Yeah. Okay, and this is a man's job. This hmm. is a man's world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a man's world. So you go into there and show them how these man things are done. So the uh, the society expects uh, the single parents to raise their kids in a certain way, mm-hmm. right? There are things or there are places that uh, a single parents also don't find ourselves very comfortable uh, in the in the society. However, at the same time, we want to stick uh, to our ways of raising our children and also just nurturing the families that we have. Uh, maybe are there, um, is this something you get yourself caught up in? And mm-hmm. how have you managed to stay true to yourself, uh, keeping in mind what the society expects? Mm. That's a good one. Mm. 21 years. Okay. So being single is is stigmatized in the fact that they already somebody already has a perception of you mm. that you did something wrong yeah. okay mm. it's your fault mm. but you are alone mm. which sometimes might not be the case yeah. and you see i keep saying whatever happened happened you have found yourself with kids mm. and you're alone you need to deal that not, does not negate the fact that you are alone yeah yeah and it's the, the hand you've been dealt with mm. so it's not something that you'd wish on yourself Although nowadays people are choosing, yeah. mm-hmm. but you have found yourself in that situation. Mm-hmm. So case in point, I used to stay in an apartment where everyone was married. Mm-hmm. Okay? So there's father, mother, mm-hmm. children, church going and everything else. So yeah. here I am, a single girl in the plot. Yeah. And you see, the stigma is all the women will be looking at you like, mm-hmm. you're about to steal our husband. You know? <laughs> and then... Yeah. then my kids go there and there's that structure and there's father, mother mm-hmm. and there's everything. So they're like, uh, how come oh, they are yeah. uh, we are not complete mm. you know there's something wrong mm. so the battle is how do you how do you maintain the fact that I'm a single mother and there's a way there's nobody to come to help mm. me mm. that's a fact True. yes at this point in your life there's nobody you can't get somebody mm. but at this point in your life there's nobody so you're doing it by yourself so that societal and I always keep saying don't blame my woman just because you found them with, yeah. with kids. Mm. You don't know the backstory. Mm. She might not be the one who was bad. She might not be. I mean, yeah. things are happening. Yeah. And you're finding yourself alone. Mm. And some, some of them are mutually like in agreeing to separate. Mm. Yeah. Because it's not working. 
and and that the fact that it's it hasn't worked and you're single doesn't mean there's something wrong it doesn't mean that now you carry a, a label yeah like single mm. and miserable mm. single and not fulfilled or single and not searching you know yeah. all those labels or single you're the one who steals people's mm. men yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. single and that's what you've been dealt with and you're doing the best you can mm. with what you have yeah and you're trying so the fact that society has this connotation there's something wrong your kids are not you know yeah. even when they play with their kids and they'll hear my dad my dad my dad mm. you know they did this with their dad how come we're not doing this yeah, with dad so where's exactly. dad you know yeah. so it becomes a narrative that you control within your household but also how you wear singlehood mm. matters true okay because if you don't wear it well and you have this warrior stance mm. true and you're true, using true, it true. as a weapon yeah. true. you know you know i'm single you know me. It's kind of, yeah, I it's mean, kind of no. You need to thrive, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah you true. just need to thrive. Yeah. Represent <laughs> nicely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the hand you've been dealt with, and 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 you can't change it. Mm. You see, somebody asked me if you could take it all back and go back to the time you are not left. Mm. Because I remember, I gave birth at twenty three. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Oh wow! Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was the girl who was yeah. in campus, finished campus, and got pregnant immediately. Mm. So you can imagine the stigma from them. Already, yeah, yes. yeah. So you don't want to go wearing that stigma. Oh, exactly. I'm single. Yeah. Oh, aga, there's something wrong. Mm. No, you just found yourself single. Yeah, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with what yeah, you're doing. Exactly. Are you imagining? So now that you found yourself single, even you walk out like the way the dude worked. Mm. <laughs> no, you, you can't. St- you just have to stick around. You don't There's have the privilege. Yeah. You don't have the privilege. You don't have the the luxury even. Mm. And you, it's not in you to just wake up and leave. Mm. So because you can't do that, well, how about I raise them the way I know how? Mm. And true. back off everyone. <laughs> you know, not in a bad way, but hey, this is the hand I've been dealt with. Yeah. Mm. And you, I can't change it. I'd want to. But I can't. Yeah. And this is the best way I'm handling and managing this process. Mm. And if and when a man comes to my life, then I will then be able to accommodate them with my children. Exactly. But for now, it is what it, it is. is. What it is. <laughs> yeah. 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 And speaking of societal pressures, I'm wondering, have have your son has your son ever had issues at school? You know the way um, kids bully because you don't have a dad. Yeah. Mm. All my kids have. Mm-hmm. And mm. how did that go? So my son. My son came and asked me, we are, we are not complete. You know the way they learn mm, father, mother, yeah. and children? Family. Are complete. Yes, family. Yeah, that's complete. Yeah. Exactly. So him is already, be, there's no nothing complete here. Mom, there's a gap. Yeah. yeah. Where is where's this man that I drew on my book? Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. you know, first you're like, the first, let me tell you, the, the one thing that I keep laughing about. My son is a spitting image of the father. Mm. And I mean spitting. Image. Wow. The talk, the eyebrow raise, the way he starts, the arguing. Yeah. yeah. It's the it's yeah. a it's, it's like the same man checked into my digs. Mm. And so some of this, these things you you're thinking, okay, fine. Your dad and I are not together. And he's not a bad man. Yeah. We just didn't it work out. But yeah. he is your father. That Ultimately, will not change. Exactly. Yeah. It will not change. I don't yeah. think there's anywhere that is any woman should say. He's not your father. Mm. No. He's still your father. Biologically, the bloodline, everything, the blood that flows mm. in your kid's blood is his father's and yours. True. So yeah. that part you can't deny. Mm. But the fact that he's not there because of many reasons mm-hmm. is what you need to explain. Mm. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah. Mom and dad are not together, which is yeah. at their level. Mm. Of course, you can't start saying, yeah, he did this. Yeah. He did this <laughs> we argued and exactly. it was his fault and... But apparently exactly. we don't we don't say it was our fault. No. Single ladies don't say it's their fault. <laughs> it was yeah. that guy's Even fault. if it was your fault <laughs> yeah. or you had a part to play in this mm. whole the guy deciding by the way it's over. It's a rat. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm. So that that fact that you're saying he's a good man mm. and he's your father mm. and he loves you. Yeah. And he'd want to be in your life. Mm. But right now there are factors that are preventing him. Mm. Okay, I don't advocate for women refusing for their kids to see their fathers. Yeah. True, that true, I don't have true, a kid. True, true. If yeah. he wants to be, let, let him be. be. Yeah. Where we come out of here, do whatever. Jipe shugli. Yeah. <laughs> let them go. But true. let them have them. True. Because yeah. his blood runs through his veins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
True. Culturally and everything, spiritually and every mm-hmm. other alley you want to think about. Yeah. So the fact that there's societal expectations mm. as to how you need to carry yourself. Mm. You know, like you can't be seen at the corridor talking to a husband or somebody. You know, you don't have the liberty yeah. to look nice and sexy. Exactly. You know, it's, yeah. it's like you're yeah. on the hand. Exactly. But you're just practicing self-love. Mm. You're just doing the best you can with what you have. Mm. Yeah. yeah? Uh, mm. No, there's no uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, when you start you know, thriving. Yes, when you thrive. And, and that's like what I'm saying. Man somewhere. Yes. Mm. And you thrive with someone's husband. being embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stand tall and say, mm. yes, I'm a single mother of three. Yes. And it's not a stigma and it's not a bad thing. I found myself here and I've accepted my fate. Mm. And it's not a, it's going to be permanent. Yeah. Mm. Yes. True. It's not going to be. It's not permanent. Yeah. Unless you decide it's going to be permanent. Mm. And so... The society will come at you. That one is not. It's a given. Yeah, yeah. 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 The society yeah, exactly. will come at you. They'll yeah. come at your kids because hey, my daughter used to hate it. Mm-hmm. We did homework with my dad. Mm-hmm. You know, no, the kids I were oh, yeah. 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 I did I homework with gosh. my dad. Then my yeah. my daughter is just there. Yeah. One day she just decided I do homework with my brother. Mm. Yeah. Dadu. Yeah. yeah. So it became a cool thing. They're like, yeah. yeah. Actually, it's cool to have yeah, a brother. brother. Yeah, brother. Now you see, really she flipped. Yeah. Mm. yeah, just tell them you do even work with your brother. Mm. You know, so they will face those things. Yeah. In school, yeah. outside of I school. Know. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be asked, how come your dad doesn't come? How come mm. you don't? Yeah. How come yeah. it's only your mom? Mm. You know. And sometimes exactly. they, you would need to tell them how to. Yeah. That is not there. Yeah. But I have a dad. Mm. It's, you see, mm. it's not that they don't have a father. They do. Their father is there. Yeah. yeah. The man is present. Otherwise, there would not be a kid. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was the man at yeah. one point? So the fact that he's not there doesn't mean he doesn't have a father. Mm. He still has a dad. You yeah. have a father and you affirm it. Mm. You have a father. Yeah. You want to see him? He's yeah. right call here. Him. Can, we can call him. You want to hear him. his voice? Yeah. yeah. Pick up the call. Mm-hmm. The guy wants to hear your voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. My true, son asked true. for his father when he was five. Mm-hmm. It was like, my God, this kid is not seeing how I have. <laughs> I'm struggling. Jesus. <laughs> can you not why understand do you my face? Now? Yeah. <laughs> Become why? <laughs> and I was yeah, like, true. no, no, no. Yeah. But you see, at least in hindsight, I was like, okay. Because he insisted. And they mm. will insist. I want oh, to yes. see him. Mm. I want to know him. Exactly. And it's their right. So, pick up the phone. Because you still have the number, ladies. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We do. We're not lying. Like, we do. Yeah, you do have We've the crammed number. the number. Please, take you. <laughs> when you are in love, yeah. you have everything. Yeah. Yes. Pet names and all. Yeah. So, pick up the phone. Call him. And tell him your son would like to see him. I'm yeah. not saying you have to be in there his life. If you don't want just to. Him, but yeah. just come mm. and... Put a face. Mm. Give this yeah. guy some closure. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it's important for that boy to it's have true. that. I have a dad. Yeah. Now from Judging there, my son me. went to school. Yeah. I have a dad. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's true. Yes. Yeah. He can even yeah. grow the dad. Yeah. Yeah. And this is my dad. Yeah. He's tall. He looks like me. Yeah. yeah. You know. There's, true. There's, there's some closure they get. And mm. there's some... Oh, I have a dad. There's nothing wrong with me. Mm. Tell come your dad that come. But I have a dad. Yeah. He's just busy. He's just busy. But he's there. Yeah. And how he says why he's not absent also matters. Yeah. Yeah, I'm busy. I'm at the level at the level of your seven year old, he needs to understand that at that level. Yeah. Yeah, true. you're working, you're not together. True. He's yeah. yeah. Mm. But then as they grow older, yeah. 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 They, start <laughs> check, yeah. yeah. they start learning for themselves. Yeah, like, that's why, yeah you know. Yes, yes. Yeah. So that's, know. that's so society will come at you. But how you carry yourself, yeah. Will determine how people will view you mm. as a single parent. Yeah, yes. yeah. No, but I, I, I like that because society will cover. I think for us, because we are adults, you kind of know how to deal with society. It's the kids I worry about. Because yeah. now you're, I mean, you're in school and everyone is saying, oh, you know, my dad bought this car. Oh, yeah. my dad did this. And he's looking mm. at you like, hey, what did my dad do? Yeah, what did <laughs> yeah. my, my dad do? Some, some, some parents. Mm-hmm. would go the extra mile of buying something for their kids and saying it's from the father. Yeah. Oh, we have done that. Yes. I don't know whether you've done that before, yeah. but I have done it, that before. It, it's, <laughs> no. It validates the kids' emotions. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Because remember, you're the ones not relating. 
Exactly. Guys. Mm, it yeah, exactly. it has nothing to do with these kids. Yeah, and I worry about him growing up with abandonment issues mm. because a lot of times they think they're the problem. Why doesn't he love me? And I'm like, yeah. he loves you. Yes. Just that yeah, they, they will grow up with abandonment yeah. issues. They do grow up with abandonment issues because they feel like this. There's a disconnect. Mm, yeah. yeah. That one is given. They have so when it. do you deal with it? At what age? At when they become older? Or older? do you start, how do you, you deal start, with abandonment issues? So now as they get older, they are, mm. they are, they are feeling there's something wrong. Missing. Yeah. There's something missing. Mm-hmm. So that m- something missing. I've, I've also realized that therapy is also very good. Yeah. But as they are older. Mm. Older is what? Older. After teenage? After, after t- a teenagehood is bad for them. Yeah. yeah. Teenage mm, is can be rough. Yeah, you eh? tell me all when they're 13 if now. Mm, yeah, this manhood thing is in mm. Koroga Kidogo. Yeah. So that's why you need the male person. Mm. Now that you're more aware yeah. and intentional. Mm. So you bring in the male to help you figure out half of these things that are happening. Mm, yeah. Emotionally, physically, and the questions that they have. Yeah. And sometimes they want to protect you from asking you the questions. You have to learn that. Mm. Oh. Yes. Oh, I will okay. hurt mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'd rather not ask. I will hurt yeah. mom. Yes. And we are always assuming they're not feeling what we're feeling, mm, but they are. They are, yeah. Yeah. Mom is sad. Mom is not feeling Yeah, so they can good. tell. Mom yeah. feels with them. Mm. So you just start. Your 12-year-old needs to have met a man who you trust mm. and start the process. Mm. So they're not, by the time you're doing therapy, mm. they're already knowing. But therapy mm. is important because they face abandonment issues. That one we can't lie. That one is guaranteed. That one, yeah. <laughs> abandonment, happen, no, yeah. you cannot over love them. Mm, you enough see, to, to... Yeah, you can't yeah. love their... It, you can't love it out of them. They have to deal with it somehow. It, it comes. Dealt with. Yeah. yeah. There's that oh, gap wow. and they feel it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Interesting. So even if you're in a, in a, in a, you're not a single parent and you mm. have man and woman, they're still feeling the absence of the father mm. if he's not there. Mm. So they're still having the same issues. Yeah. Those are the kids who grow up and buy them are they everything. I know. And the visit. dad has. Mm. And exactly. the, the Zex is there wondering, call me, I wasn't. Yeah. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, actually, that's, that's a very valid point. Yeah. Because the father thought, me, my job is to provide. As long mm. as I've given you money, it's yes. yeah, good. Yeah. Now they've exactly. grown up yeah. and then everyone is loving their mom. Yes. And the dad is there. Mm. Mm. I agree. Mm. <laughs> Also, there's uh, there's no point of uh, uh, talking about raising sons if you can't talk about circumcision. Ah, right? that's a deep one. Um, oh my gosh! And I'd love to hear from you because well, my son is twelve. Uh-huh. We are about to go there. Okay. To get there, I've identified the person, mm-hmm. but then how is that process like? Mm. Now that you've been raising this uh, this boy on your own, um, I'm not too sure if the other side of the family is that to mm-hmm. be able to just reach out and uh, tell them well the boy is ready we need to go through mm-hmm. this what are the do's and don'ts because i know it's also kept in um, the cultures mm-hmm. the different cultures that we're in mm-hmm. so i'd, I'd like wow. for us to learn mine was you. baptism by fire by the way oh, oh yeah let's just start the, that point uh, <laughs> mine was baptism was by it? fire because you know the way you hear class eight we need to mm-hmm. go for the cut yeah. mm-hmm. and so i had a male friend who was a neighbor Mm-hmm. And this, he told me, by the way, you know, he needs to go. I'm like, hmm? mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah, see for one, I'm yeah. like, oh, no. And I was like, yeah. okay, fine. But we do it in church. Mm-hmm. So churches are now helping mm-hmm. to bridge that gap. Yeah. So you're able to, they do it like a church initiation mm-hmm. program. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they go. So that's how I, 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 I escaped mm-hmm. or I <laughs> passed Somehow, through. Yeah. So they, there was a program, then you pay a certain amount mm-hmm. of money. They are taken somewhere and then they are, they, they are taught, it's done. Things. They are taught all yeah. these things. Mm-hmm. And then now they're brought back. Mm-hmm. Now, when you go to pick him, mm-hmm. also it's another stigma as mm-hmm. well. Because the men mm-hmm. are the ones to go to pick. Wow. Yes. So how did that go? Yeah, I'm proudly going there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I've come from my side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Huko. <laughs> <laughs> Only I'm seeing dudes. Uncle, uncle, mm-hmm. uncle. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I don't, I don't, please, even if they go, just make sure there's, there's an a uncle and your brother or somebody yeah. to go pick them. That's, that's something someone told me. Like, mm-hmm. yes, you have someone to stand by him during that process, but you need to be very aware of the culture, mm. right? So you need to, to know there's a process before you get there. I don't know if the uncle has to okay him being circumcised. Mm-hmm. Uh, and mm-hmm. they also say if it's not done correctly, mm-hmm. the things that would come back. 
Oh, geez. I don't know how true. That I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't know about culture because yeah. yeah. I did the church did. way. Yeah. Where now there's no culture. They're not being taught. It's, it's just the church. Yeah. yeah. It's just a rite of passage that you mm. need to go through. But when he came back, he actually, Mom, now I can't jump on your bed. Yeah. Like, so he says goes, who? Yeah, you're still yeah. my baby. Yeah, please like, jump on my bed. Yeah, don't worry. Five weeks later, yeah. you've forgotten that story and very he's fast. Jumped, and jumped and on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> like, what happened to what you're talking yeah. about? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it depends on do you want to go cultural? Do you want to just. Mm. Because nowadays you can even go to the hospital and get it done. Yeah. 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 Actually, actually, that's a thing. Just doing it at the yeah. That's then, a thing. And go however, home. but guys, there's that duration that they need to stay. Mm. So you do not want to be in the same in house. The same, well, yeah. You cannot. You, can, yes. you so, actually can't be in the same house with as in as a mother. No. But it's cultural. Cultural. Yeah, yeah. cultural. But yes. but look at uh-huh. it this way. When you when you're getting married, that there's the culture way and then there's the Christian way. Christian way. Yeah. I'd go get uh, the ratio done, mm. right? But and I still, still want to have that wedding. wedding. Yes. So does it mean this applies to this particular thing? Because this is so yeah. cultured. Yes, it's actually very, right? very, very, yeah. Because yeah, the right, guys yeah. who don't, don't really yeah. understand why, especially people in the, in the Other developed cultures. world, yeah. they don't believe as in that's not as per humanity, mm. right? So they don't believe that you need to be circumcised. Or it, to them, it's a, I mean, it's also a very medical thing. I think it's a, yeah. yeah so it's just I a mean, procedure. I don't believe it. Oh, it it's necessary. Yeah, like people it's not like necessary. That. Yeah. So yeah. if if you decide to do the charge or the mm. hospital, I still feel we need to go back and align. Culturally. Yeah. Mm. Align culturally because mm. I've had stories and I'm thinking, what? Yeah. Just do it to be necessary because this yeah. thing is culture, as in it's instilled in our cultures before it goes out there. Mm. We didn't have hospitals. We didn't have churches. Where did we start off? When we to be to be done for um. and then they come back as, as men. So maybe let's align with the culture before we decide that's, yeah. that's, that's, just yeah. that's a good thought, point. Yeah? Yeah. And the guys who, who've already done it, yeah, well and good. But I'm told also, even if you've done it, still, you need to go back because there, oh, really? there are complications that you get earlier on yeah. as, as children and we get kids who've been circumcised because they had they what had to mean? be because of medical but uh, medical, I mean you're, you're taking uh, them to an expert no 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 as in they got circumcised mm-hmm. because they had some uh, issues medical uh, like you know as in their penis as in probably something wasn't uh, wasn't doing very well so mm-hmm. they got circumcised when they were young Oh. So like uh, newborns or mm. two year old. Mm. So these are the same people who are going to meet with your child who's going to be circumcised at this week. twelve or fourteen. Mm. So they're coming Whatever. in just to to get the knowledge behind it ah, and everything it else, the, and they still, they go, still through have the to culture, go through the process, right? Yeah. So we need to be very very mm. sure. Even by the time we we're saying we're doing the hospital or we're going through mm. the church, we need to align. With the culture, yeah, yeah, to the culture. Well, I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be an expert on that part because mine, but I told you. how did it feel going to take your son being the only woman? Yeah, it, it wasn't very pleasant. That's when mm. I it hit me like, okay, fine, I should have carried an uncle or something. Yeah. And then, you know, now he's coming out of there and you're wondering, okay, so what So next? what do we do now? Yeah. 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 So then they had, you know, they had got time. The best mm. thing about this one, mm. they, it's not tomorrow after they've done it, then they're coming home. Mm. They have like two weeks to stay ah, there. Yeah. And yeah. 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 So okay. he's very yeah. okay. He's just normal. Yeah. It's just that now the embracing and people coming, the people who are coming, the uncle congratulating and everything. Mm. You have no idea what you're Yeah, doing. I didn't know. So mm. yeah. I checked in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not my body. I'm not my body anymore. Make it, make it. Not my body. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be an expert on that part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's a rite of passage that also needs to be discussed in your yeah. son's life. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, we are coming to the end. I'd love ah, for... It's so sad that you're coming to the <laughs> end. <laughs> I hope we have a part two. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I wish you <laughs> yeah. could have a part two. So, yeah. uh, the aspirations mm-hmm. you have um, for your son, mm-hmm. um, maybe something you'd love to share because you've seen him grow to 20 mm. years later. Um, something about... What he aspires to do, what you as a mom would uh, want him to do, might collide. Mm. But how? 
How do I remember? It, yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Actually, today is his 21st birthday. Oh. Happy birthday! Yeah. So, it's, today being three days ago, four days ago, but yes, the time is yeah. the show. Okay. <laughs> so, the, the, I have very great expect. Any mother would have yeah. good expectations for their kid. But one of the things I say, I want you to grow up into a man who is well adjusted in the society. Okay? I would not have done justice raising mm. you mm. if you're not adjusted and mal you're maladjusted. Mm. You know, it doesn't matter where you come from or who raised you. It matters who how you turn up yeah. and how you turn out. Mm. So you can you can be raised by either parent and you're not a very good person. True. Okay, you don't have values. Mm. You're just a smarty pants. Mm. So who you're bringing out, like this 25-year-old man, I'm proudly sitting saying, I've done a good job, yeah. according to my standards. Yeah. Yes. And he's a, he can represent me well. Mm. And you can know when you speak to him that he has a mother behind. Mm. You know, he has, he has a good upbringing. As opposed to, he was raised by a single mother. Yeah, exactly. He has a good upbringing. And that's what yeah. we want for all our kids. We want somebody who can go walk into an office and be able to perform. He's a team player. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. it's about values. It does not matter who raised who. Mm -hmm. What values have you instilled? Mm -hmm. So I keep telling him, I want him to get married, get a good family, make a woman proud, mm -hmm. get me grandchildren. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're many. I want to get grandchildren. <laughs> so you don't have to use my script. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to make the same mistakes mm -hmm. I did. Yeah, true. You just have to chat your own path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm I'm very That's proud beautiful. that I'm setting him out That's to the beautiful. world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but beautiful. you have to be intentional mm. about raising them. Yeah, mm. yeah. Okay. Um, we've come to the end of the show. Mm. I'd, um, <laughs> Sandra, you're having an event coming up, yes. so I'd want you to talk about the um, just a minute to talk about the event okay. when the event is going to be where. And how people can sign up uh, for the event as well. Okay. I'm sure Kara and I are going to be present. We shall yes. be present. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. So uh, I have the event on the 14th of November. Yeah. It's for single mothers raising sons. Yeah. So if you're not raising a son, your time will come when you're raising daughters. <laughs> yeah. And so we want to learn and learn, relearn, mm. cry, laugh at ourselves. Yeah. Look at where we are. So the ages of five. Mm -hmm. Because five is where the, the rubber meets the road, yeah. which is of five to 20, if you yeah. want 21. You're welcome to come and share your experiences, mm -hmm. bring out what you your fears are, mm -hmm. because you have fears. Mm -hmm. And then um, maybe get mentors, yeah. male mentors Hopefully. who will be there, mm -hmm. who are sober yeah. enough to chatter apart for your mm -hmm. kids. Because there's also career, there, there are so many aspects mm -hmm. of raising your son as opposed to just... Being there and feeding them, mm, true, and true. then uh, having chubby boys <laughs> because know? they're overfed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the event will be at Tobriana Hotel, Tobriana on the fourteenth. Like I've said, mm. it's just for us to have fun and laugh and learn. Yeah, and exp and it's a safe space to expose. True. Yeah, mm. it's a safe space to actually yeah. lay down the issues. As they are, mm. yeah. Qua ground vitu ni different. Sure. Ground, Ladies, qua ground vitu ni different. <laughs> yeah. And so that is what we are going to be peeling off. Mm. Yeah. So that you're intentional about raising the man you want to see. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So put the seed, the one of the man you want to see, and yeah. then what it germinate. Mm. As opposed to when they're already there, you're wondering what happened. What kind of man are you? You're yeah. like, yeah, I had a part to play in this <laughs> yeah. whole process. It's very yeah. True. Yes. Mm. So how about you? You are intentional about that process. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So welcome. Come ah, welcome. Have fun. How do we get tickets? Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to set out the tickets, okay. the, the registration, mm -hmm. and uh, the payment plans mm -hmm. and everything. So yeah, maybe so you can put it we'll put yes. that on the link below. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. come one, come all, yeah. and let's have fun. True. Yes. Um, I think this is a wrap. It is. I think so much fun. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. sad that this is a wrap. Oh, yeah. oh my too. gosh. Yeah. Mm. No, for me, I really want to thank you for showing up here. Thank you. I have learned so much. So, so much. Um, just realizing that some of these things are not unique to us. Mm. I mean, you. it helps to know that whatever you're going through, someone else has gone through and mm. actually made it through. Yeah. Um, and I mean, having raised a 21 year old, I saw your sign, yes. I was like, oh, I can't wait for my son to be 21. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. So, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to 
learning from you even more. Mm-hmm. Coming to your event and meeting other moms. Yes. True. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Just having that mm-hmm. kind of community. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think it was a largely positive show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think we all learned um, a thing or two. And my, my take home today is it's it's okay. Just let them, let yeah. them go. But also as uh, mothers, whether the, the, the father is not there, we need to be very intentional to just make sure we are raising the boys that we'd want, mm. even our daughters, mm. to, yeah. to date exactly. or to get married, yes. to, right? Mm. And um, Kama Kawaida, Sio Kobaya, this is our stories. You mm. have your own yeah. story. Yes. Uh, this is not a platform for you to come and vent and tell us how we're doing it wrong. <laughs> yes, <thank you. laughs> never. It's never yeah. going to be that platform. <laughs> but we wish every other single mom or every other mother mm. uh, the best, thrive to be the best mother Try to be the best partner to your mm-hmm. husbands or fathers to the children. And uh, let's make this happen. Yes, let's do it. Yes. Yay. Thank you Bye. very much. Bye. 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 Yay. 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 Yay.